This is the Inspired Listening Vertical Dab Radio, which I got out of Sainsbury's for £20. And uh, I must say, it's, it's an excellent radio. It seems to be really good quality, and I'm very impressed. It seems to be exclusive to Sainsbury's. I've not seen it available anywhere else. It's a fu funny shape, but it doesn't take up much space. There's a, that's the antenna at the back. I'm not so impressed with that, but I can put up with it. It runs in four AA batteries. I'm using rechargeable batteries. And I'm finding that I'm getting 20 to 30 hours out of it, which is excellent, really. And also, when the, when the batteries run down, you get an idea because this LCD screen goes dark after, meaning that the batteries are getting pretty low. And then when it does run out, it just fade, quietly fades out. It doesn't make a screeching noise like my old tab radio used to make. Like, they gave me a fright. You can also, there's also a plug supplied with it, which has got a sort of mini USB type connection. I've not really used that yet, but there's where, the, there's where it connects there. And also there's a headphone socket. It says that the speakers are, well the speaker, one speaker, is 2.5 watts RMS. I think that the speaker is really good quality, it's quite bassy. And I've usually got the, the volume set very low, around about, say, 4, 3 or 4, when it can go way up to 10 or beyond that, I think. But it's, it's such a good sound off it that I can hear it fine at 3 or 4. There's the on-off button. It's got an FM radio as well, which I never use really. Which is typical of their radios. There's a scan button. Yeah, you've got different info, this gives you different info on the station you're on. It's, even the buttons are really nicely, it's a nice quiet sound off them. It's really classy. Yeah. And then also, you've got your presets here. That's just when you want to load one to listen to. I've got three set at the moment. Let's get ten presets available. And there's how you get to the presets. And when you want to change channel, you press this button here. And then also, if you want to save something, save a preset, you hold down the preset button for about five seconds, then it says preset save at the top. It says preset save. And that's when you that's how you save a preset. If you're just wanting to load them there it says preset load, you choose your channel. I've got a sound turned down for copyright reasons. It's quite a light radio, it's easily carried about. I'm really impressed with this. It's, um, the output, let's see, it's, it's one amp and it works fine with rechargeable batteries. I'm, I'm finding that the rechargeable batteries are taking, lasting maybe 20 or 30 hours, which is remarkable for a dab radio, especially at this size. Let's have a closer look. If you want to change channel, what you do is you press that button and then it gives you the list of them all and you can go through them all. Choose your channel. And then your presets are in here. If you press it once, sure, it gives you the preset load there. And you choose your channel. And if you want to save a preset, you, you hold that button down for a while. And that'll come up preset save. And then you would save your you would press that to save your channel. That's the volume control, you switch that around. Like I say, I've always got it around about three or four because it's it's such a good sound off it, I don't need it any higher. That's the on-off button. 
There's a this Dabber FM. There's a scan button. There's the info button. There's a preset button and there's a sleep button. So like like I say, I think this is a really good quality dab radio for the price. And if you can get it at twenty pounds I would I would definitely recommend it. Here's the measurements. It's about ten centimetres across about seventeen centimetres high. And it's it's about ten centimetres deep. It weighs about fifty six grams. That's fifty six grams with batteries in it. As I say, I use rechargeable batteries and they work fine with it, giving me twenty to thirty hours. It's got two two rubber things underneath there to, to give a good grip like my old radio used to fall over but this one's well because of the design anyway it's it's quite sturdy but the rubber mats are a nice nice touch as well and it's as i say it's a quality build it seems to me i don't know about the antenna that's the only bit that puts me off but that's a small small concern it really is a good quality dab radio and I would recommend it. The volume goes up to 20 but I, I usually have it at 3 or 4 because it's it's so strong that I don't need it any higher than that so I mean you can put it up to 20 if you wanted. There's a barcode but I don't think it's available anywhere other than Sainsbury's. I couldn't find it anywhere else. There's a sort of info you get. That's so how you save the presets, you would press that button. So, I really recommend this, the Inspire Listening Vertical Dab Radio.